I have my Tide Pods container and the best way to start getting the label off is to soak it in some hot water. So the next step is to take this piece off and that just takes a little bit of twisting. There we go. So not, not too, too hard. And I'm going to cut some strings that are the right length and glue them to kind of give um, our pumpkin some depth. And some places I might even use two together. So I'm just gonna cut several of these. I can always trim the ends off later. Um, I'd rather make them a little extra long. And I'm going to hot glue those to our Tides pot container. Pumpkins are a natural thing. They are not perfect. So you do not have to worry about being perfect. There we go. And like I said, for this one, I want it to be like a little extra thick. So I'm going to put another line of glue right next to that. You could use a thicker rope if you wanted to on these. There we go. And now I'm just going to add some more. And you can see what I'm going to do. Now, these containers do have these little finger grips, so you can grab them like this. And if you really wanted to get fancy, you could fill these in, but these are not going to show where I'm going to be displaying this, so I'm not really worried about it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the bottom of these because I want this to set straight down. I don't want it to be wobbling on any of these strings, but you do always want to make sure your hot glue is all dried before you do this, or you will get hot glue on the, your scissors and they will be sticky probably forever. So the next thing I'm gonna start doing is to paint. And since this um, is so bright orange, I mean, this is almost like safety vest orange, isn't it? Um, we'll start to take off some of this um, incredibly orange. <laughs> so that's all I'm gonna do is just give it a um, cursory coat of this to start with. And we're already looking not nearly so um, industrial there. So I'm going to let that set for a few minutes and then we're gonna start um, with some other colors. So now that I've covered up a lot of that orange, I'm gonna go back and add some orange. But to start with, I'm gonna go with this really light kind of tangerine color. And I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm not really worried about it mixing. Um, I can even, um, you know, do a little bit of the, of the honeycomb and then a little bit of that together. So I'm just gonna, um, you know, it gives it, it, it's kind of an orange yellow or yellow orange. Just wondered about those crayons that are, is it orange yellow or is it yellow orange? And we're gonna wanna make sure now that we're starting to really cover these strings. You know, I didn't worry about it as much. And these glue strings and things, I'm not worried about those at all because those just add character to our pumpkin. Make sure that those strings are all co covered, that we're not seeing the string part of them. So, and I'm gonna leave my mustard looking pumpkin to sit around like this for a little while and dry before we go back and start getting a little more artistic with it. So now that we've done a fairly good job of making our Tides Pod container not orange, like a pumpkin, <laughs> we're going to make it more orange. And I'm just going to add, probably that's probably a little too much, but as long as I leave some of this other color showing, down here, it's pr probably gonna be okay, but the strings definitely need, because I can see some of the white from the strings. So it's just more painting time here. 
Now that the paint has dried on um, our pumpkin, I want to put um, some floral foam in here, but I would like some of it to, I don't want this um, rocking around like this. So I'm going to cut some of it and put it over on the sides. We have our last piece of floral foam in here and I'm gonna cut it just a little bit high so I can arrange in here. And I don't want it wobbling back and forth like this so I'm going to cut one more thin piece and wedge it right just so that doesn't wobble. And see, I can even pick it up from there. I don't have to secure it any other way. And now we're gonna make this into a beautiful fall arrangement. And one of the first things I wanna do is down here around the bottom, I wanna add some pretty fall leaves. I'm gonna add oak leaves and these leaves that have a pretty little bit of uh, pinkish red to them. And we're just gonna keep building up our arrangement like so. And then I'm gonna add some beautiful fall blooms to it. I'm gonna add a nice sunflower right down here, and then one over this way, and then one way up here. I really like that. And then I'll fill in with some of these mums, the little orange, some towards the back, and a little red. And we tuck those down in so that the sunflowers are the stars of the show in this piece. And I'm gonna add some little berries there for height. I think I have another piece of oak leaves that are a little taller. So we'll give that some height and um, some nice fall colored eucalyptus. It's bending really well for me. Let's see. There we go, to add a little more color up there. There we go. I might pull this sunflower up just a little bit so it comes forward. Yeah, and then don't forget to turn your arrangement around even though I'm going to showcase this um, from the front where I'm gonna be displaying it. I want you to make sure that you have covered the back. You don't know where somebody's gonna peek around the back. So make sure you do. Um, finish it off so that your um, floral foam is covered in the back too. And there we go. We have a beautiful fall arrangement in a pumpkin. And here is our beautiful fall arrangement in our pumpkin that started out as a Tide Pods container. Isn't that pretty? Lovely on this wooden shelf. So next time you have an empty Tide's pod con Tide Pods container, think about turning it into a pumpkin like this and putting a pretty fall arrangement in it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time right here on Home Talk.